Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. Today I want to show you how to download free fonts and add them to Cricut Design Space on both Windows and Mac. So first, let me show you where to get free fonts. Go to a web browser. I'm in Google Chrome right now, but you can do this in Edge or anything else. And type in dafont.com. This is the spot with the most free fonts, and I've been using this site safely for years. Just be sure to go to dafont.com exactly as shown here. Free files are at your own risk, of course, but dafont.com is generally considered a safe place to download from. On dafont.com, you'll see different categories near the top, which you can browse. And if you scroll down, you'll see the most recent fonts. Note that most are free for personal use, not commercial use. If you want to use these fonts on things that you'll sell, check the font descriptions for contact information so you can purchase a commercial license. I've used many of the awesome fonts here for my personal projects, and there are just so many wonderful choices. Under script font right here, which I know so many of us love, you'll see all sorts of beautiful fonts. For example, Hello Honey looks like it even has extras in it, like the heart and the swashes you see here. And over here on the right, you can tell that this is a well-loved font with more than 5 million downloads, and it's free for personal use. You can click download right from this page, but before we do that, I want to point out a couple of cool things that will help you find the right font for your project. First, you can sort by popularity if you want to see what fonts others like too. Or you can sort by newest or by size. And one of my favorite features, you can preview what each font will look like in your chosen text by typing it in the preview box that you see right here. So I'll type Jennifer plus Greg because he's my hero and I can see my text in every font. Isn't that cool? So once you find a font you like, you can click on it to learn more about it. So if we look closer at the Hello Honey font, you can see all sorts of information about it. It has special characters like the swashes and the hearts that make it really fun. And all the information on how to contact the author and purchase a commercial license, if you need one, are all right here. And note that at the bottom, you can see all the characters in this font. Well, at least all the basic characters. There are, of course, those special ones are missing from here. But I think that's really useful because if there's something special you want to use it for, you want, might want to be sure that your character is present. Not all fonts will have all characters. For example, I noticed that the plus sign was missing in some of the other fonts I was looking at. But it is available in this font. So when you think you've found a winner, just click the download button here on the right. Once you click download, the zip file for the font will immediately download to your computer. You do not need to log in or create an account or anything like that. It's super easy. If you're on Google Chrome as I am, your font file will download and probably open right away for you. If it doesn't, just go to your downloads folder. Now I want to show you how to download these on Windows first, and then I'm going to show you on Mac. If you're on Mac, you can skip to the 709 timestamp in this video. To find a downloaded font on Windows, select File Explorer from the taskbar, and then look in the Quick Access column on the left side, and choose Downloads. It should look something like this. You can sort by Date Modified, and you'll see the file at the top of your screen. If you just see a bunch of icons rather than a list like you see on my screen, click on View and change it to Details, and then Sort by Date Modified. And now you can find things easier too. Next, you need to decompress or extract the font zip folder. To do this, just right click with your mouse on the zip folder and choose Extract All. Then click Extract on the window that appears next. After it extracts, you should see a new folder appear on your list with a similar name as the zip folder, and it will probably open right up for you as mine did. If it doesn't, you'll find it in your downloads folder where you can double click it to open it. Note that you want to open the one that reads file folder, not compressed zip archive. Inside the font folder, you'll see the fonts inside of it, along with some extra information files. In this particular folder, we have a Please Read Me file with more information on the font, 
a license request file that explains where to purchase a commercial license, and the actual font file right here. The font file will either be in true type or open type. If you have both types of fonts, you'll want to use the open type, also known as OTF, as it contains more font information. Now, this font is only available in OTF, which is great. True type or TTF, which you may also see it called, is also fine if that's all there is. I prefer to use OTF whenever possible as it gives font designers space for the special characters like glyphs and other cool features. Glyphs in the Cricut design world refers to special characters, flourishes, and decorative elements that come with some fonts, like the hearts and swashes in this Hello Honey font. And yes, I will show you how to find and use glyphs in just a bit. To install your font on Windows, you may be able to simply double click on the font file and then click on install on the window that pops up. If you need your font installed for applications other than Cricut Design Space, I recommend you do it a little differently, however. So instead, right click on the font with your mouse and then look for an option called Install for All Users. You may need to click Show More Options here to see it and then click Install for All Users. Note that your account must have administrator rights on your computer to do this, but installing for all users does mean that you should be able to access this font in all applications and accounts, so it's the safer bet. That's all there is to it. If you get any sort of a warning, which is not typical by the way, you may want to choose not to install the font. It's not usually worth the risk. I'll explain how to access your new font in Cricut Design Space in a minute, but first let me show my Mac users how to do the same things on their computers. To find a downloaded font on Mac, go to the Finder from your dock, which looks like this blue and white face icon here, and click on the Go menu and then choose Downloads. Sort by Date Added and you'll see it at the top of your list. If you just see a bunch of icons rather than a list like mine, click on View and change it to As List, and then click the Date Added column here. Now you can find things easier too. Next, you need to decompress or extract the font zip folder. To do this, just double click it. Now after it extracts, you should see a new folder appear on your list with a similar name as the zip folder. You can see my Hello Honey font folder is right here at the top. Now just double click on the font folder and you'll see the fonts inside of it, along with any extra information files. In this particular folder, we have a Please Read Me file, a License Request file, and the actual font file. The font file will either be a true type or an open type. If you have both types of font files, don't worry, just use the open type font. It's also called OTF because it contains more font information. This font that I have here is only available in OTF, which is awesome. That's the one I want to install. TrueType or TTF is also fine if that's the only one you see. I just prefer OTF as it gives font designers more places for more cool uh, special characters and more font information in general. To install your font on a Mac, simply double click on the font file and then click Install Font. If for any reason that doesn't work or your screen doesn't look like mine, you can right click on the font file, choose Open With, choose a Font Book and then click Install Font. And that's all there is to it. If you do get any sort of a warning that seems serious, you may want to choose not to install this font and go pick a different font. It's not usually worth the risk. Okay, so now we've got the font installed on either Windows or Mac. Awesome. Now how do we use it in Cricut Design Space? First, you'll want to head on over to Design Space right now. And if it is already open, as it probably is, right? Save any work and then quit and restart Cricut Design Space. On Windows, you can just click on the Design Space icon in your taskbar and choose Close All Windows. On the Mac, go to the Cricut Design Space menu in the upper left and choose Quit. 
This is very important, don't neglect this step. If you don't restart, you probably won't see your fonts. So be sure to restart Cricut Design Space. Now let's find the font in Cricut Design Space. Start up Design Space again, click New Project, and then click Text over on the left to add some text to your canvas. By default, your new text is selected already, and you can immediately go up to the font menu and click on it to see your font options. If you're working with an existing layer of text, just be sure to select it first and then go to the font menu. Clicking on the font menu gives you the font window, where by default only Cricut fonts are listed first. And if you look for your new font in this list, even search for it with the search box here, you will not find your new font. Don't be confused by this, because it can make you think that your font didn't get installed, but it really, really did, I promise. So to find your installed font, you must click on System, right here, and then type in the name of the font. I recommend typing in just two or three characters of your font, so I'll type in HE for Hello Honey. And there's the new font that we installed. Just click on it, and you'll see your text change to the new font on your canvas. If you can't see your text change because your font window is blocking the view, not to worry, I have an awesome tip for you. You can actually undock this font window and move it anywhere you want on your canvas. Just click, hold, and drag the top edge of the font window and you can move it anywhere, just like this. Neat, huh? So now I can type in whatever text I want, such as Jennifer plus Greg. But if I want to use those cool characters we saw over in DeFont, those swashes and the hearts, what do I do? So those are known as glyphs, and we can use them here in Cricut Design Space. Let me first show you how to do it in Windows. If you're a Mac, skip to the 1336 timestamp in this video. So to find glyphs on Windows, click on the magnifying glass icon in the taskbar and type in Character Map. Select it to open it, and then click on the font menu and choose the font that you're working with. I'll choose Hello Honey. Now you can see all characters in the font, and there are a lot of characters in this font. And honestly, it can be hard to find what you need. So if you've got this problem and so many characters you can't find it, here's a tip. Click on Advanced View at the bottom of the Character Map window, and then click the Group by menu and choose Unicode Subrange. A little box will pop up and you can then select Private Use Characters and that will show you all the special stuff for this font. This may or may not work for other fonts, but it works great for this one. So just find the character you want, like the heart after the letter R right here, and then click on Select. You'll see it appear in the Characters to Copy box at the bottom of the Character Map window. Now just click Copy. Once you've copied the character, go back to Cricut Design Space, Double click on your text to enter edit mode. Place your cursor where you want your new glyph character to appear and then paste it in. You can paste by right clicking and choosing paste or just press control V on your keyboard. To find glyphs on Mac, click on the magnifying glass icon in the top right corner, type in font book, select it to open it, and then choose the font you're working with from the list on the left. I'll choose Hello Honey. Click on the View menu and make sure Repertoire is selected. Now you can see all characters in the font. Find the character you want. I'm going to select the heart after the letter R right here and click on it. Now just copy it. You can do this from the Edit menu or just press Command plus C on your keyboard. Once you've copied the character, go back to Cricut Design Space, double click on your text to enter Edit Mode, Place your cursor where you want your glyph character to go. So I'll put it between our names and select everything in between plus the letter R and then paste it in. You can paste it by right clicking and choosing paste or just press command plus V on your keyboard. And now you can add all the glyphs and special characters you want. Now I have the complete and beautiful result. Isn't this fun? When you find a font you love, remember you can bookmark it. 
If you ever can't remember the name of the font you used, right click on the text layer in the layers panel here on the right and scroll down to the bottom of the menu that pops up and then hover over the image info area at the bottom. It will tell you exactly which font you used. Then you can go back to the font menu, find your font and click the bookmark icon right here. Any bookmark fonts will appear under bookmark for you to find quickly. Another way to find your favorite fonts is to click on recent. This tells you what font is currently on the canvas and you can bookmark right from here too. If you'd like to learn more about fonts, I've got free cheat sheets that cover everything that I mentioned here, plus tips on how to make lists of system fonts and Cricut fonts, and lists of my personal favorite Cricut fonts that are already pre-installed in Cricut Design Space. Everything from bold and chunky and handwriting scripts to pen-friendly and vinyl-friendly fonts. You can get those cheat sheets over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Font Finder. And if you're looking for other places to find free fonts, you can get some from fontbundles.net. Just go there and click on the free tab. These free fonts change all the time, but there's some good ones in here. There are also free fonts over at creativefabrica.com under freebies, free fonts. The nice thing about the free fonts at Font Bundles and Creative Fabrica is that they include commercial use licenses with their free fonts too. And I have some of my own free fonts for you made just for writing in Cricut Design Space. They are in design number 437 in the library at jennifermaker.com slash library. If you have any questions about installing or using fonts, please let me know. I'd love to help. Just leave your question below this video or come ask in my Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <laughs>